This is a great place. The ladies are very friendly. They're very warm. So Dave, we meet again. How long have you been on a few tours now, right? Yes, I have. So what tours have you been on? I've been to Ukraine seven times, all the cities in the Ukraine. Every city three or four times, but a total of seven. Seven, seven trips? Seven trips okay. with the day thing. And now here you are in Costa Rica? Yes. What made you choose Costa Rica? Um, because I think it's the second best choice to the Ukraine, and Ukraine's not an option right now. And um, this is a great place. The ladies are very friendly. They're very warm. Uh, I'm very happy that I made this trip. Do you feel safe here in Costa Rica? Uh, yes, I feel very safe. We've already done the socials. We've done two socials. What did you find different between the socials here in Costa Rica and the socials in Ukraine? Well, the socials here are, are speed dating versus the Ukraine is, is different. And um, there's more ladies in the Ukraine but there's less men here. So lady per man, it's about the same. Um, the ladies here are very warm, they're very friendly, um, they're very hospitable, and they're very motivated to meet people. And what did you think of the staff here in Costa Rica? Staff's great, Gustavo did a great job. His sister is wonderful. She, she Andrea, she's just, she's so helpful and so fun to be around and uh, they just can't do enough to help you here. I met a couple of ladies and I've met one that I think could work out long term. I actually would say I've had better success here than I've had in the Ukraine. Really? Yeah. After okay. seven trips to Ukraine and now here, uh, I have a very serious lady who happens to have a visa, which is a big plus here because Costa Rica is much closer to the United States. Mm -hmm. She can come visit me. So that's an option you generally don't have in some of the other countries. And um, uh, she plans on coming to visit me. Now, many guys, you know, they sit on the fence, you know, deciding whether I should go on a tour or not. Um, sometimes it takes them years to, to pull the trigger if they do it at all. If you could tell them anything, what would you tell them? Well, I've said it many times, you know, get off the couch and come. But uh, now that we're just through COVID, um, the ladies are very motivated to meet men. And um, now's the time. Don't waste time. Um, life is short. And if you waste too much time, you might miss all the good ladies. You want to get down here and meet the ladies as quickly as possible and, and go on with your life and have a good, fun life. And this is a place, a good place to start. Sean, how you doing? Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet you. So the tour's coming to an end. Yes, it is. Now, Sean, you have a little bit of a different perspective being here in, in uh, Costa Rica because you've been to Ukraine. Yes. The first time I went to Ukraine, um, I was shocked when the girl took my elbow instead of taking my hand. Uh -huh. And um, it's their custom to hold the elbow. And even if you're old and married, <laughs> they don't hold the elbow. <laughs> and so, here it's a uh, it's a lot more comfortable because they'll hold your hand. Right. You know, they'll grab your elbow too, but they'll you know kind of link arms, hold your hand. They're more uh, uh, more used to I'm more used to the, the customs of uh, affection that we use for holding hands uh, here than they would be in the course. It's just a diff different custom. A different custom. You got to get used to. Okay. Um, now they're also uh, very relaxed, very calm. Not that Ukrainian women aren't calm and relaxed, but I find Costa Rica just a very inviting and calm, relaxed country. And the people are extremely friendly. And what did you think of the social? Uh, amazing. amazing. <laughs> totally fabulous. Um, it's like, I, I did it backwards. It's like I did the single, you know, write the lady first and then go and see them on a single tour and, and, and then 
the ladies always set you up with several dates, and but it's not a, it's not like this. Here, you go, um, you see like anywhere from 140 women to 220 women. And it's like you go on these tours and it's just, you get to see a lot of women. And I guarantee you're gonna come away with several women you wanna meet. Yeah, you go to the, uh, if you're having problems setting up dates, you go to the secretary at the office and she works magic and you've got an entire date sheet filled. And it's just amazing that you get to meet a lot of quality women. Some of the guys um, have checklists. Like, I want a woman that's got a visa. I want a woman that speaks English. Mm -hmm. I want a woman that's outgoing. I want a woman that's quiet. I want a woman that, you know, is into outdoor activities. I want a woman that's into hobbies. They've got like a checklist and you can find every kind of woman here. And you get to see them all at once and, you know, um, connect with them, actually see them in person. Every guy in this trip, I think, has come out with several ladies that he's corresponding with if he hasn't narrowed it down to one. There's about five of us that have narrowed it down to been, one. There has been some success. <laughs> and um, I'm very confident that, you know, within um, a short time, I'm going to be engaged. I just hit it off and, uh, you know, it's looking bright. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Check out our website at firstlatinwomen.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.